Happy Floss Tube Friday, friends! My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Floss Tube episode number 61. Yay! Happy Friday, friends! So, if you are checking me out for the first time, welcome. My name is Carrie. This is my studio. I have a Floss Tube Friday every Friday where I share what I've been working on in the past week. This week, I've got a little bit of quilting and a little bit of cross stitch for you. A little bit of haul, a little bit of Tiger Lily shop update at the end. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you. Thank you so much for coming back. We're going to dive right in today. I think it's going to be a quick one, which is usually not how I roll. But um, I went over to my stitchy area in the family room and I was like, you know what? I kind of only worked on a few things and because it's been a couple late nights getting ready for the keeper club we're getting close today is april 7th the keeper club ships out on april 25th and so it is gung-ho all wheels chugging along on that production so a little bit of late night not so much stitching time as i would like but i do have some stitching to show you first let's dive in to what we what we look at every week because we love it. I love it. You love it. We all love it. Miss Harriet Hay. She is in my January Keeper. I had to give her some love. I've been showing you guys her. I feel bad because I show you the same thing and again and again and again every week. But hopefully you like to see the progress I made. This week I did make a little bit of progress. Hopefully it's not too hard to see. Oh good. You can see it a little bit. So I'm working on the house outlining those fantastic windows and that's all i did um we talked about it if you're for the first time let me show you what miss harriet a is miss harriet hey so i'm working on outlining her house because i have big plans and i told you guys about them i'm going to get her all set up for some red house stitching at stitch con that's what i'm thinking stitch con or when i'm stitching with my friends i'm kind of working on some fun field trips uh, prior to stitch con with some friends and so you know that mindless stitching where i don't want to see so you can do a little bit of the roof thatching but that's all fill in yay so that is what i worked on this week um, my friend Sarah told me about a chart oopsie daisy. I haven't drilled into it because I haven't done that tree, but it's on the right size lollipop tree. So if you are stitching this, take a close look at this chart. I think it was this little medallion to the right of the tree. She stitched it as it was charted, but I think it's different from this one. And when you look at the picture, they're very symmetrical. So I'm not quite sure if it was a chart situation or if it was a Miss Harriet Hay made them different and the sample model stitcher did it. Not quite sure but to keep that in mind if you are stitching on miss harriet um so that she got some love on that and then last week one of you guys one of my reminded me what happened to my fox and rabbit stitch along well so here she is in in one of my passport keepers love that one if you don't know what this is, let me show you. Now, unfortunately, I still only have January printed out because, mm -hmm, yeah, it's April, right? So this is a 12-month stitch along from Fox and Rabbit. It's a mystery stitch along. I totally could have printed out all the way to April because they've released four months of this stitch along. It is gorgeous. Oh, I did have, sorry about that. I do have January, I mean February, because I was thinking I was going to get ahead. But I think March, the the little bit of the border design came out. And then April, I think, is the motif over here. I got some catching up to do. And thank you to my sweet friend who was like, um, what happened to that? And I thought, you are right. What has happened to that? So I pulled her out. She got three nights of work. I don't know where I was last time I showed it to you, but I'm still in January. <gasps> but can we just drool over this fabric? Yes, we can. This is 18 count. Here's my tracker card. It is the one color stitch right now. So I just used my little half punch hole puncher, put it in. I am stitching mine with a hank of Moe's Silk. Handy dandy using my little floss bling that Sarah made me. I love it so much. So I'm stitching mine on 18 count dunes at dusk from LFA Linens. This project's going to measure 334 by 360. So this is a big girl of the big girls. She's like the queen big girl, I do believe. Um, but that's okay. I love her. And so she is on 18 count, which gives her um, 
a little bit. She shrinks a little bit, but she's still, you know. Welcome, I'm an Ada Stitcher. Everything I stitch on is Ada. So if you're new here and you're looking for an Ada team, welcome. We love Ada here. I love all the things. I wish I could stitch on all the things. It's also pretty, um, but my eyes don't participate. So this is where I am. So I just want to give you all a little close up. The variegation of, first of all, one color stitching, so my jam. Um, and then the one color, the variegation in this Mohs Silk, one strand over one, because it's Ada. So fantastic. So I think I got this flower, and obviously I'm working on this one. And then I have another flower, and then the other seahorse, and then I'm done with January. <laughs> and then there's February, and then there's March, and then there's April. So... I had the best of intentions on keeping up with this monthly stitch along, but you know, that's okay. Baby steps, baby steps. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me put this bag in the keeper before it gets in. Now this is, remember I've showed you guys this before. It's my favorite thing about this stitch is that I do have six needles and um, in my little Moda box that I, E6000, three magnets to the four, four four magnets to the bottom of that. And so now my needles just stick in there. This is my like little tra travel hack, but I put in six needles. And so that way when I pull a, pull a strand of thread, my, my goal, as you can see, I only did five, is to do all six. And then that's, that's a good, that's, that's good progress on that one. And then I can move on to something else. Um, last night, I think I did two so i almost got through two i only did five but that's why i keep six needles together that way i need i i write them all up i needle them all up and so then i can just stitch stitch stitch, stitch. that's why the one color stitch is can sometimes go fast or sometimes when it's a giant huge big girl on top of big girls fast is not what's on schedule so the only other stitch that got some love this week and again i feel like Rinse and repeat. If you watched last week, you're like, um, these are all the same projects. Well, you know, sometimes I don't, I could dive into my huge whip basket of fun, but I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. And so I'm sticking with it because so I would so love to actually get this guy finished, get to the point of the stitching finished. And then I can figure out how to teach myself how to do a mattress finish. So that's where I was with this. I was like, chugging along, let's do the work. So if you remember from last time, I didn't have any of the tomato done, uh, or these two tomatoes. I had the one tomato and then I had worked on coming over, but this week I added, so this little checkerboard tomato, so adorable. And then the polka dotty tomato. I just have to a little bit of fill in finish. So it's close. Progress is being made. This is a full Tiger Lily conversion as always. Not one color is what's called for. And of course I'm stitching it on pink and not blue because I do like to follow rules. If any, but if you've met me before, you're like a big rule follower, but not in the world of color and stitching and fabric and all those things. I definitely like to make it my own. So that is what I am doing with that one. So those are all the whips I have for this week. I have no finishes. I had big plans to actually like cut into my Satsuma Street. I have done some research. I am watching the videos to figure out how to do a finish. Um, I want to finish one before I commit to doing a Satsuma along ornament challenge for May or June. I'm not quite sure which or July. I don't know, sometime. But I want to make sure that I feel confident enough with my finishing before I commit to doing the things. But in the meantime, my market order from Satsuna, Satsuma Street showed up. So let me just show you guys in case you haven't seen them yet. I mean, really. French hen, so cute. And then, of course, this ring-a-ding sample. I mean, look at the bell. It's bigger than his head. Love that. I'm a big, I'm a sucker for things. Like like the bird on Miss Harriet where the bird is bigger than the house. If you know, you know. That it's like one of my things. So those two came in from um, Satsuma, which was super great. The only other haul that I got this week was enabled by Mama Loves You GB. She showed this chart. I was sewing. Paused. This is my, you know, sometimes it's bad. Um, paused, show. Wheel over to my computer, doo -doo 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 -doo, add to cart, check out, go, and then back to sewing, and then back to unpausing the video. So thank you so much, Mama Loves You, GB. But I just saw this one. She showed that this is a 
um, Barbara Anna designer. You know that I love lots of the Barbara Anna designs. A lot of them are in the punch needle and primitive bag. So you see, always seems to have one and I love them all. Um, I need to stitch them all, but right now I'm just collecting. But when I saw this one on my TV screen, if you know, you know, I love the colors. I'm totally going to make this my own. This girl needs some silver sparkle in her hair. Yes, she does. And I'll, of course, I'll do a full carry color twist on this. I think I see a lot more pinks and oranges versus reds and oranges in my future, but that's okay. So I saw she just needs to hang in my studio. She shouldn't take too long. She doesn't look too big. So what you do is, um, Barbara Anna usually sells through her kits through Nitka, which is a Russia site, which you can't do right now. So I just DM'd her and she sent me a link to her Kofi. Um, and so you can just buy the pattern right there directly from her as a Kofi and then you download the PDF. And so it is all not in English, except for that one little translation, Madam Butterfly, but that's okay. I mean, it tells you the DMC colors and then the chart is the chart, right? We read the chart and the symbols. It's pretty easy. Um, so I love it. I just love this little thing. I can't tell you how big it is because... A, there's a lot of words. 95 by 95, I think. Those are two numbers with some words in front of it that could say stitch count. I don't know. Let's just go with that. So it's not too big. Um, could quick stitch up quick. I don't know, but I had to have it. I didn't want to forget about it. So I'm excited to maybe whip that up and throw it on my wall here in the studio one day. So lastly, I just want to show you guys, if you did the Tiger Lily first ever quilt along with me, thank you so much. I had so much fun doing those. Um, Mondays, for the last four Mondays, I've had a live video every week where we did a quilt along. Now, if you're not quilt, if you're just a stitcher and you're like, I don't quilt, that's okay. Um, but eye candy is fun. The color is fun. So this was the sample that I made um, to kind of show you guys what we were going to be making. So this I used a rifle paper company, a fat quarter bundle, and this was the sample. So then over the last four weeks, every day, every Monday, we've done a video at live video on 10 a.m. Eastern. You can still go back to watch all the replays. If you want to catch up, you can this will live forever if you want to do this quilt along whenever. But this was the one that I did with you guys over the last four weeks. This is my patriotic version. Still just um, five fabrics and then we sewed it all together. So, but I am having so much fun. And then this last week we put the binding on it and she's ready. She's ready. She actually, I just had to go grab her out of the dining room because she's already, she's laying the foundation for my patriotic little vignette. Um montage on this table in my dining room she's the foundation piece and then we'll have some double pillow finishes and patriotic that's like one of the things that i do decorate for um i'll probably throw it up in may memorial day and then just let it roll through the rest of the summer um but i've having so much fun i'm mean, so like my heart is full of all these when people tag me and show me that they're either still working on it or they're just started or they finished um my friend sarah she's like now my husband is asking me if we're gonna have a, a, a seasonal runner every season this was her first quilt. This was her first quilt project ever. And she just knocked it out of the park, crushed it. And yes, I guess I think there needs to be a table run for all the seasons. There's a Patriot one, a spring one, a Halloween one, a fall one, a Christmas one, a birthday one, all the things. So different blocks, different things, all the fun. But I had so much fun doing with this with you guys. And we've talked about what's going to come next. Um, I'm definitely thinking it's a carrying vessel of sort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, what? So that's either going to be a project bag, a tote, a combination of the two. I'll be honest with you. I kind of deep dove, dived, jumped into the pool of maybe making a retreat bag because I'm going to stitch kind of, I'm super excited. And I was like, okay, well, so I can't just throw myself in just a store-bought like Vera Brett. <laughs> Really? No. So I've never made a like bag bag retreat, like duffily bag. I've made tote bags. It's just a, you know, bag with handles, right? But this is like a whole nother with the hardware and the clasp and the triangle things and the hooky doodahs and all. Like 
bag making that I've never done that. And so um, my friend Chantel from 141, she did this super fantastic. If you haven't seen it yet, it was like all the project bags of the world. She's, she's, she's a collector, a connoisseur of project bags and she has quite a collection. So jelly. Um, and one of the ones she showed was a retreat bag. And I was like, oh snap, how do I not have a retreat bag? I'm going to a retreat. I don't have a retreat bag. I have to put that on the to-do list. And so after she showed her bag, I went and I explored a couple patterns. I could draft my own. That's a whole nother level of challenge that I wasn't going to accept. So I was like, you know what? Don't reinvent the wheel. A lot of people have patterns out there. So I found a pattern for a fabulous retreat bag and the hardware is coming. I don't need fabric. I got a little bit of fabric. And so the pattern and the hardware are coming and I'm super excited. And so hopefully it's fantastic. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I can't tell you when it's going to be done because like I said, it is crazy keeper club week, but you know, baby steps. So maybe we'll make that if it doesn't overwhelm me. Maybe we'll do one of those. Maybe we'll just do a tote bag. Maybe we'll do one of my zipper phone bags. Maybe we'll do it all. We'll see. But there will be more sewing longs, quilt alongs, stitch alongs, all the things coming. And I'm super excited. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I would love for you to, to like and subscribe. Really, um, I've got huge plans for the next big subscriber milestone giveaway. I'm super excited about it. And so I gotta get to it before we can do it. But anyway, you know, I love you. Um, I do want to give you just a quick little shop update. It is April 7th. As you know, the Tiger Lily shop updates are the 15th every month. This one is going to be short and sweet, small, small and sweet because busy, but I do have a sweet one. I'm so excited about this fabric collection. I do just want to show you in case you want a little, um, you love Jane Austen like me. <laughs> Look at this patchwork. Okay, so this is called Emma. It's a fabric line, I think from Riley Blake. And I patchworked it all together. Look at the little dances and the house and the birds and the suite and the colorway is just fantastic. So there will be one, two, three, four of those. That's not that many. <laughs> Four of those in the 15th collection. I'm shooting for a, for a dozen to be dropped on the 15th, but that's next Saturday. So hopefully, I better, by next Friday's floss to be able to give you a little sneak peek preview of what's gonna be dropping on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Remember, that's when I drop everything um, and it kind of sells out pretty quick. So come back on Friday next week. If you want to see what's coming on Saturday, I'll definitely give you a little sneak preview of what's all dropping, but there will be four of these. And that's about as far as we gotten so far. We got plenty of time. No worries, friends. Okay. That's it. Can you imagine? I know it's just a few stitching whips, the quilt along. It is crazy. Um, I almost was going to show you, like, just add some things, but I'm not going to. If you saw this last week, I did sneak peek you my little cabinet over there um, that shows you my stitching area, cross stitch collection, all in one bookcase, kind of like this one, but different. That's in the quilt along live video from Monday, but maybe next time I'll, if I don't have something super exciting to share with you. I will bring it over here and maybe show you how I organize my fabric. Interesting? Want to know? I do have a pretty fantastic, I, it works for me at least, system for organizing my fabric by count, by color, by maker. Mm -hmm. It's pretty organizations kind of like one of the things I love to do. I love to organize. And yes, everything has a label on it because I love a label maker too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, friends. Happy Friday to you. Happy Flossy Friday. Happy quilting, stitching, making, knitting, all the things. I hope you have a tremendous and fabulous week. I don't have any plans to see you before next Friday. So until then, friends, happy stitching.